God almighty. You know, I think I was wrong. I think you had the right idea. What? Let's all do it. Let's not even think about it. Let's just jump. Let's go. You're crazy. No, 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 wait, wait. I'm not taking anyone with me. That's not my point. Who cares what the point was? We got a chance to do something here. Let's just do it. A chance? What the hell are you talking about? All my life about? I'm afraid of one thing. I don't want to die by myself. Nobody does. We don't have to do it now. We could go together. We could take each other's hands and just step off. We could be dead in a minute. What are you doing? You're supposed to tell this man not to do this. What would I be doing? Any favors? I don't to do it? want any favors from you. Now get back inside. I'm not going anywhere without you, man. Come on, I got the idea. Let's just step off. We can be dead in a matter of seconds. We can be free of all of us. Free? How dare you stand here and talk about being free? Freedom is something you earn by sticking around and seeing things through. It doesn't mean a damn thing if you're dead. Eden. Look, we can't do this. Why not? Because we, we kiss, uh, we make love or something, and then we just sit there with this silence, and we have a lot of questions that aren't even answered. The questions are there because you don't do what you know you want to do. Look, all I want to do is keep you alive for a week. Till they read the will and, and nobody's trying to kill you. You know, you're here because you couldn't stay away. How long are you going to keep saying no? It's just too easy. It's easy, huh? Yeah, you throw my wounded body into a car and you drive like a bat out of hell with your eyes glued to the rearview mirror. Just in case me and I try to put a bullet in my head. You're right, life with me is too easy. I mean here. With the sunset behind us. On the stage. Where people have built whole worlds and destinies that seem to seem real for a night. Is that what you want? Do you only want something that's going to last until the curtain comes down, Robert? Eden, we can last. As long as you let us last, you know that. Well, I don't know why I'm not home with my children. Nobody's forcing you to stay here. You should go home. Join your kids in Mexico. I mean, you got me this far. I see I can make it from here. Oh yeah, you can make it from here. What are you gonna do? How are you going to get meals? How are you going to get medicine? You can't risk going out there and getting anything yourself. Now, look, I saw a pharmacy. I'll go there. I'll try to get enough medicine to last you for maybe a week or... What's that? You mean that? Robert, somebody's here. Let me see. Hmm. Guess when the wind hits the pipes just right, you don't even need to press the keys. She plays music all on her own. Look like you just met up with an old friend. Do you play? Um, I, I have to go get those supplies. You should lie down and rest. I don't want to rest. I feel more alive right now than I have in a long time. You don't need to go right now. I won't be a long time. Be careful. You want a cop to it? You call it what it is, okay? But don't talk to me about freedom. Because you know what you sound like? All the junkies at Dover's who say that they got to get away for a little while because life's just too intense. they got to have that freedom just for an hour, just for a day. So they take their little chemical vacation while their kids are crying hungry in the next room. Well, what are you talking about, Nikki? I don't have any kids. you got a mother, don't you? And a sister? Both of them are going to be asking themselves over and over again what they could have done to keep you from throwing your God-given life away. Is that what you want? 
I wanted you, Nikki. The only thing I ever wanted in my life was you. So doesn't that tell you something? You got a heart. You got a soul. You can love somebody. Some people can never feel that, Travis. They just don't have it inside them. They're the ones who should think about giving up, not you. You know, she's right, brother. You want to go inside? He's ready. I'm not gonna let go of you, right? You're not gonna let me go. That's right, I got you. So everything's okay. This is gonna be easy. Let's just stand up. Let's go inside. Let's stand up. No, please, I'm scared. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's okay. There's no rush. You were scared when you came out here. But you came out here because you wanted to help Travis. Okay, and thank God you did. You saved his life. Now that, that was hard. This is going to be easy. This is just going inside, okay? This is going to be easy. Now how do you feel? That's right, that's okay. Real slow, real slow. It's just a few feet. It's nice and easy, okay? I got you, let's go. Okay, okay, that's okay. Just look at me, it's okay. Look at me. Come on down the wall. There's a little pipe here. Stand up the pipe. I saw this play. Cruz and I came to this theater. We, we saw this play here. It must have been right after we met. No. It's five years ago. We sat in that box right up there. You and Cruz held hands the whole time. You were here? Mm -hmm. After that day that I... 
told you about when I saw you on the beach outside your house right after I got out of prison. The day that you looked right through me and walked on by. Thought I would try to stop thinking about you at least for a couple hours and go to the theater. So I came here and saw you with Cruz. I saw the way you looked at him. It was the way you used to look at me. I even spoke to you. You did? Mm -hmm. Out in the lobby at intermission. I thought I would try to reach you one more time. I waited till Cruz went to get a drink or whatever and walked over to you. My mouth was so dry I could hardly breathe, let alone speak. I touched you on your shoulder. I said your name. And I didn't know you? You almost jumped. You looked like I was going to try to do something to you. I had just spent five years in prison dreaming of your face, and you looked as if you'd never even seen my face at all. I didn't know about your loss of memory. I thought you'd just forgotten me. I walked out of here and I never looked back. I thought to myself, you didn't remember me then. I might as well just make up a new me. I gave up my name. And with Tennell's help, I gave up my pride in exchange for the power to acquire all the things that people collect when they can't get what they really want. All the time I was hiding. Hiding behind something I called Robert Barr. What would have happened if you would have told me what you wanted to tell me instead of walking away? You wouldn't have wanted to believe me. You never would have wanted to. You already had Cruz. We weren't married. We didn't have children. We... We just met. It would have been different finding out about you then. Are you saying... You would have dropped everything and come with me? Well, who can know that? Right? I knew I should have said something more. No. Maybe you shouldn't have. Oh, all the things we would have done or should have done. They never let you forget, do they? Look, Robert, you know what happened, happened. You can't change any of it. Oh, we could have changed together. We could have grown together. Yeah. They're gonna take me to a hospital. How long do you think I'll have to stay there? Oh, just long enough to answer a couple of questions. Just be straight with the doctors. Don't try to pretend this didn't happen. The deal is to make sure it doesn't happen again, and they, they can't help you with that if you let them. As long as they don't put me in any funny jackets. <laughs> yeah. Listen. You really helped me a lot today.
Yeah, well, you helped me too. You reminded me of how much we all have to live for. Keep in touch. down, took my blood pressure, and I got to drink apple juice like I was in nursery school. <laughs> Wild place you got here. Yeah, well, we try to go easy on the apple juice, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta let your hair down. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you got a ride home and everything? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not planning on hanging around and cramping your style. <laughs> What's this? Oh, uh, that's the report of what happened today. It's, uh... It'll be attached to uh, Travis's psychiatric file, buried in some computer. Hopefully nobody will ever see it again. Yeah, I heard Travis is going to some psycho ward. Ah, uh, I wouldn't call it that. I'm not going to lock him up or anything. No, I don't think so. I'm just going to give him a little counseling. And if he's as smart as you say he is, he'll uh, keep going back. How long have you known him? A month, maybe. You know, that's the thing. He only went out maybe two, three times, and then suddenly it's like... He wants to get married, you know? I guess I must have scared you off pretty good, huh? <sighs> Marriage is one thing that is definitely not in my future. Can I ask you a question? I thought you had to fill out a report. You know, when you were talking about those hungry kids in the other room, something like that up there? It sounded like maybe you had been one of them. Hey, Travis is the one getting his head shrunk, not me. Yeah, I, don't get me wrong, I don't mean to say anything except thanks for your help. It's just that if people talk from experience, you know, maybe even from their own pain, I think other people tend to feel it, find themselves listening, even when they didn't intend to. I think, I think it's what, what happened with Travis today. Yeah, well, sudden inspiration, okay? One performance only, no encores. Fair enough. So, uh, if we have another jumper, I'll uh, restrain myself from, from calling you. Yeah, you do that. You restrain yourself. See ya. Yeah. Robert kept saying Cambridge, Cambridge, once when he was delirious. And I had no idea what he was talking about until I found this. I think this place is special to him. And I think he would go there if he was in trouble. I really believe that. Well, so you're saying he, he owns this whole block? Yeah. The theater hasn't you been... No, I was there. Even then I went to L.A. to see Phantom of the Opera. It was like a small theater. Then it didn't need a big place. It wasn't the big extravaganza they turned it into. Well, how long ago was that? Uh, five or six years ago. Wasn't Robert in prison then? How could he be at the theater? It must have been just right after he got out. Cruz, come to Los Angeles with me. Eden has made it pretty clear she doesn't want me to do that, Kel. What about what you want, huh? What about me? Are we supposed to just sit here and let her make some terrible mistake because she has this conviction that she's got to do the right thing? So you're telling me you want to go there because you want to see her? Is that it? No, I don't want to go there because I want to see her. I've decided to fight for what I want for once in my life. I'm going to go tell Robert how I feel. I have to, or how is he ever going to know? I I've never taken a chance, Cruz, and I'm really just tired of playing it safe. Maybe you should play it safe. You think they're there because it's an accident? You think they don't want to be together? They made a choice. They made a conscious choice to be together. Well, I can't live with myself if I don't try. Somebody's got to tell me someday what the hell it is about Robert Barr that has you and your sister lining up to mop his brow, because I don't get it. Obviously, you're not coming with me. Well, I'll go alone. Right. I just can't believe that you're going to pass up this opportunity. Opportunity? What opportunity is it for me to be told again? I don't understand. Frankly, I do. 
It took me a while, I'll grant you that. You know, I thought maybe my wife was trying to bury the past. It turns out she's trying to keep the past alive. Fine. I'm not going to go. She wants me to stay away? I'm going to do what she wants. Will you wish me luck? Good luck, Kel. Here, Christine, you can never go. We will remain in this place together forever. No, I can't. The other world is not for you. This is your home with me. The girl got away. She ended up with the man she loved. Yeah. What's but, so sad? The poor Phantom. I mean, didn't you feel for him? Well, he was kind of a madman, wasn't he? Luring her down to his lair and keeping her prisoner there. But he was all alone. I mean, at the end of the play, he had to end up all alone with no one. Somebody had to. 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 You should be getting rest. You should lie down. You're lying down. Sophia. This is 
Right. You can't let Kelly go down there by herself. You just can't. You have to go with her. And if you get over here right now, there's still time. Get behind me. Wait here and don't move. Sound like from backstage. I'm going to check it out. I thought you were... Who? 